Welcome to Fallout 76. This is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing daily challenges for today, Sunday, May the 12th, 2024. So this is the 10th server I've tried to find participants for Invaders from Beyond. It took a little while, uh, but this is the most amount of people trying to do this event here. So let's go ahead and take part because we do have a daily challenge where we have to take a camera picture of an alien invader which of course are the guys in the power armor suits so this is the second wave I finally got in on a uh, server here We do have a high level over there, which is pretty good, having a high level here. Is this all the ammo that I have? Wow. That brought down the force field on the brainwave siphon. Destroy it now. Nice, there we go. Okay, so again, our uh, one of our daily challenges took a camera picture of an alien invader one. Now, of course, the alien invaders are, there's three different types of aliens. We have the toxic cryogenic aliens, which are these little guys, okay? Uh, we have the alien drones, which are considered robots. And then we have the, um, the guys in the power armor. Uh-oh. Guys in the power armor, which are considered the alien uh, invaders, right? So just an FYI there, they are all kind of different in their own little way. I can't believe I have, only have this much. Yeah, so there's a uh, alien invader over there. We see him with the. The power armor suit on. See him here? So hopefully we'll be able to take a camera picture of him and we'll be able to uh, get some more ammo. Apparently, they don't have a whole lot of ammo on me. I don't know why that is. That's weird. Usually, I get all kinds of her. Let's see what I get for grenades. I don't think I have very many of that. Even though I don't. Wow. Okay. Ouch. I try to save some of this ammo for the uh, Zeta. I'll have to keep note of where those. Uh, hey, there's General Zeta coming down there now. Usually she spawns down there somewhere, so she's there. I'll flow a little bit into her there. Yeah, I couldn't believe I was like going from server to server. And they even give it like a minute or two just to check to be sure. And uh, yeah, sure enough, it's like, what is going on here? Huh? This like zero, zero interest. Got him. Nice. There we go. Also eager to bear arms, given the opportunity. Beautiful. So, of course, there are going to be a few alien stragglers around that we haven't killed yet, so we'll have to kind of go ahead and kill them. So, there we go. Oh. Nice job. Okay. Uh, so again, let's take a look at this daily here. Take a camera picture of an alien invader. Of course, we have to use the Pro Snap Deluxe camera. We cannot use photo mode. And again, the alien invader are the guys in the power armor suits. If you try to take a camera picture of the other aliens, it's not going to count. Okay. Uh, if you try to use photo mode, like when you go to your map screen and you go photo mode here, this too is not going to work. Okay. Um, now here is the Pro Snap Deluxe camera, be under weapons, this guy right here. So I've had this guy for quite some time, and uh, basically just acts like a weapon kind of deal. And um, I do have a couple of videos, older videos, so you just gotta mind the audio if you choose to watch them. I still go through the paces of how to get this camera, and it's still valid here today. 
Um, so let's go ahead. We're gonna take a camera picture here real quick before they despawn. So here's uh, one of the alien invaders. So I see his alien invader in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now watch how it moved away. See how it kind of disappears, right? So it is uh, it is catching other alien invaders around. But you have to make sure whatever time you're using the Pro Snap Deluxe camera, whatever you're taking a camera picture of, whether it's for a quest or a daily, basically you got to make sure whatever you're taking a camera picture of, it says that the, the name or the description in the top right hand corner of the screen. Let's go ahead. There we go. Take a camera picture of an alien invader. One for one. Done. Okay, so I just kind of want to do that real quick before the uh, bodies despawn because we know that they do. All right, let's head back up here. Um, so again, let's take the uh, look at the atomic shop here real quick. So uh, getting back to how to get this camera, you go into the camp section. And I kind of been mentioning this the last couple of times you've had this particular uh, daily pop up when I can, when I can remember anyway. And there'll be a little terminal in here. It's called my personal terminal. And uh, let's scroll down through here if we can find it. Oh, what was that? Oh. Let's keep going here. Oh, right here. So here's my personal terminal. So basically, it's, it's from what I remember, it used to be free. But I don't know how much, I don't know if it's 200 atoms or 250 atoms now, but it was free back in the day. And all you do is you claim it, and you build it in your camp. And then you interact with it, and they'll come up with a little quest, like on the screen, called Investigate the Suspicious Person. And that will bring you somewhere on the map. It'll be highlighted. And it'll be either Axel or Ansel. And they'll, uh, or Ann, sorry, Axel or Ann. And they'll have a little a broken Pro Snap Deluxe camera on them. You take that camera, you take it to your workbench. As long as you have the right materials, you'll be able to craft the Pro Snap Deluxe camera, okay? But... Yeah, a good way to initiate that is by using my personal terminal. And again, but back in the day, it used to be free. I have no idea how much it costs now. So just an FYI there. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to grab some what little spoils that we are able to uh, get there. Three-star chameleon sturdy uh, leather light right arm. That's nice. That's a nice one. Let's go up this way. I don't think there was a hole. That wasn't too bad for the very little people that showed up. Uh, did pretty decent. As you can see, the bodies have already kind of despawned. And we have some mole miners that are uh, rolling back into town here. Alright, let's head back to our camp. If I can find where my camp's at. Where's my camp? Oh, it's down here. Jesus. As it happens, you switch up camps once in a while, right? You forget where your camp is. You know, anyone else have that problem? <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Um, so now that we got that out of the way, we're going to go ahead. I don't think there's any more uh, daily challenges that involves us with other uh, people. Let's go ahead here. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to a private server. Just so that way there, I find when I'm doing the daily challenge, weekly challenge videos, uh, making the videos on a private server for me, it's a lot better because I can get the mobs that I want and the items that I want. I'm not in competition with other people kind of deal, but if you don't have Fallout First and, and are stuck on the uh, public servers, then you might do a little bit of fast traveling looking for the same stuff. But for me making videos, it's a little bit of a time saver, so... Yeah, I couldn't believe that. Ten, ten times it took me to server hop to find people actually playing the event, Invaders from Beyond. It's uh, kind of mind-blowing. We're at the back uh, back end of our air now, anyway. we get Monday and Tuesday left, and we'll see Alien Invaders for a little while. First things first, we're going to grab some ammo before I forget. Holy man, I can't believe that. I can't. That's the thing with this particular weapon I have. It loves, loves the ammo. Like, loves it. Let's grab some more ammo. 45 is what we need. There we go. Perfect. All right. All right. Let's take a look here. All right. 
So there's a few things we can do right here in our camp. A couple things that we can do right off the hop here. Let's go ahead. Scrap junk to produce rubber five. When I think of rubber, I think of rubber balls, okay? A good sources of rubber is right up here in Grafton. There's a high school. And in the high school back room is a little gymnasium. And there's usually uh, a bunch of basketballs there. Great spot. Uh, another good spot is right here, Morgantown High School. You'll find some rubber there as well. Um, yeah, for the most part, that's really some of the main sources of rubber around the wasteland that I can think of off the top of my head. Of course, there are many others as well. But uh, for, for daily weekly challenges, we might as well just bulk rubber right here in our Tinker's Workbench. That way there we can kind of do it quickly, move on to other things. Here's our Tinker's Workbench. Go ahead and go craft. Go down to bulk. Go down here to bulk rubber. As long as you have two plastic and ten raw rubber in your stash or scrap box, this method will work for you. Let's go ahead and bulk just one. That's all that we need. Let's back out. Let's scrap. Let's scrap the bulk rubber we just crafted here in a Tinker's Workbench. Done. Scrap drawing to produce rubber five for five again. You could do it the fastest, quickest, easiest way like this. Or you can just simply play the game. Go out and find items there that you can uh, scrap to give you rubber like uh, basketballs for example or rubber balls all right what's next here jim scrap drunk to produce steel 10 so same exact kind of method we just did with the rubber steel is extremely abundant in the wasteland you pick up armor you pick up weapons from you know killing scorch super mutants etc you can find, you know, armor weapons laying all around the wasteland. Tin cans are a great source of steel as well. Uh, canned chimes, you know, we find canned chimes. A real good spot is right here. Good old uh, Camden Park. There's about six or seven of them. Great spot for cans down, down here in Camden Park. Okay. Um, another good source of cans is right up here at uh, Dire Chemical. Great spot. Crevice Dam. Bunch of super mutants are up there, and a uh, bunch of canned chimes up there as well. And uh, right here, Sunday Brothers Cabin. Just before you go to the cabin on the, on the left-hand side, there's like a little uh, kiosk there, and there's usually all kinds of cans and then aluminum cans in there as well. I'm looking for aluminum. Uh, but for this particular daily weekly challenge, you might as well just bulk steel at our Tinker's Workbench and get it done as fast as quick as possible. Let's go ahead and go craft. Go down to bulk. Go down here to bulk steel. As long as you have two plastic at 30 steel scrap, you can bulk one steel. Let's go ahead and do that. That's all that we need. Let's back out. Let's go ahead and scrap. Scrap the bulk steel we just literally crafted here. Done. Scrap trying to produce steel. 10 for 10. Done. Just like that. And again, you know, steel is so abundant. You know, it wouldn't take you long. Wouldn't take you long at all to uh, get enough junk items. In terms of weapons and armor and tin cans to scrap to give you steel. Okay, wouldn't take you long at all. Okay, what's next here, Jim? What is next? Build a bed, table, or steel stairs. Jeez, in a workshop or camp three. So again, you can claim any old workshop on the map. Any old one will do. Once when you claim that workshop, you can go ahead and build a bed, table, or stairs. Or... We can just go ahead and build it in our camp. Now, a lot of people like to build uh, stuff in their camp. Wait for these daily weekly challenges to pop up because they pop up quite frequently, as we know, several times a week. And that's how people add to their camp. Now, you don't have to do that. Uh, you can just do it the way I do. I just craft uh, bed table stairs and then I just uh, scrap them all. Okay. Uh, now, we're usually uh, build stuff in our camp. We'll do something a little bit different here today. So let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead. We're going to claim a workshop. A real good workshop is right down here, Billings Homestead, nice and easy. Let's pop over here to Silva Homestead. Now, we can't fast travel to the workshop right now because we don't own the workshop. You can only fast travel to it if you own it. Right now, let's head down the road. Now, I usually kind of pick this guy here, mainly because there's only usually about uh, three or three or four ghouls around. And then we can claim it. And once we claim it, we're going to build that stuff. As I say, there's usually about uh, three or four ghouls around. It's funny, I'm shooting him in the head there, and he's reaching for his... Uh, holy mackerel. 
<laughs> see how see how they see how they all of a sudden grow legs. You know how I say that in my videos. That's what I mean. That's what I mean right there. You see how fast that cat was moving? Look at him. He's hiding. And he's the king. <laughs> Just usually for this is really easy. Let's go ahead and claim this workshop here. Twenty-five caps. <laughs> That's what I mean when I say that all of a sudden they grow legs and then they and they run real fast. That's what I mean by that. That's how I say that in my videos sometimes. Oh, Pleasant Valley claim ticket, beautiful. Silver table knife, love it. <laughs> Alright, so once we claim this here, we'll be able to uh, build... Oh, Jesus. Kind of stopped there for a second. I was like, whoa, don't do that. Alright, so now that I own this uh, workshop, let's go ahead. Build a bed, table, or stairs. Let's go to our build menu here. Go to uh, build a couple tables. And you can build it all the same if you so wish, whatever you want to do. We got these real cheap tables here. Again, the same amount of requirements if you were to build it in your camp. There we go. Bed, table, or stairs. Workshop or camp three for three in this case. We did add a workshop. I don't plan on keeping this stuff. Let's go ahead and scrap it down just like that. Okay, what's next here, Jim? What is next? Scrap a board game one. So I have many videos out there. I actually think there's a playlist of uh, videos out there for board games. And uh, you can check them all out. Uh, they're not very long. Um, they're usually about uh, an hour and uh, 30 seconds long. And some of them I even made short. So this was like when I first started making videos. But they're still valid here today. So if you so wish, you could check out that playlist. Uh, but where we're going to go here today, actually... Um, I've been taking you do usually to the uh, Blue Ridge Bunkhouse. Because there's usually three of them up there. Another good spot up here is uh, WV Lumber & Co. Another good spot over here is uh, the Retreat. That's a re Actually, you know what? Let's go over to the Retreat. We haven't been here for a little while. We'll go over to the Retreat. It's a kind of neutral kind of area. And again, uh, there's so many new people to the game. Um, the spawn locations I show you guys in all my videos, okay? They are spawn locations, and because you guys are new, you might not have played Fallout 76 before. You're up, you're in competition with other uh, players on, if you're on a uh, public server. And uh, you might go to these places, you might not find any board games, and that's because somebody else had already taken it, okay? So you gotta just kind of keep that in mind. Be a little patient. Uh, you'll definitely get them at some point. Uh, but uh, when you're on uh, public server, you're in competition with other people because they have the same challenges as you. And uh, that's what I kind of mentioned to folks. So there's right here in this little common area. Here's some board games right here. Let's go ahead and grab one. There we go. It's all that we need. There's a... Uh, can we scrap it? Yeah, we can't craft there, can we? Uh, there is a workbench around here somewhere. Let's take a look here. It's, it's funny. It's been a little, been a little while since I've been here. I won't let anyone mess with this village. Huh. Well, let's keep going. I know there is a workbench around here somewhere. So did I pass it? Looks like it might rain nope. later. Let's keep going this way here. I think it's uh, through the other side. So we need to scrap this board game. Sorry, no time to... <laughs> okay, guys. Where'd you hide it? Yeah, I think there's one up here. Urgh. There we go. Here's our Tinker's Bench right here. Let's go ahead and go scrap. Let's scrap the board game we just got here. Done. Scrap, scrap a board game one for one. And again, many great spots for these board games. You can check out that playlist like if you're really having a hard time and you can't locate any you can check out that playlist on my channel just mind the audio uh because again i am using the older equipment back in the day but they're still valid there today so all right jim what's next let's go ahead here we're going to scrap pre-war money five so I did make a video on this uh, probably about, uh, I would say, four or five months ago. 
it's farming for pre-war money. Of course, when we scrap pre-war money, we get cloth. Uh, I think the video is about an hour long, but I show you some great spots. We were very successful in that video finding pre-war money. Now, of course, we can't use pre-war money for anything in the game other than scrapping it for cloth. And that's pretty much, I was asked that question just the other day. We don't use pre-war money for anything. It's just scrap it to give you cloth. And once in a while, we'll have the odd daily like this uh, pop up. All right, so you guys can check out that video if you're having a rough time finding pre-war money. Uh, but one of the best spots for pre-war money is, of course, Morgantown Airport. You have those little settlers on the dance floor. You can find at least uh, 12 pre-war money around there. If you spawn in collision course by going to the quarantine zone, as long as you complete that event and that little cargo drop drops off, okay? Uh, in that cargo drop will be 99, 100, or 101 pre-war money every single time. And even if you're on a public server and you come up here, if someone already had did that event, like you didn't even have to do that event, but you can still open up that little cargo drop and there'll be pre-war money in it for you. All right, so I'd made mention to that in that video. Uh, where we're going to go here today, of course, cash registers, pre-war money in, in it as well. Uh, let's go to Wavy Willard's Water Park here today. Of course, Morgantown. Morgantown will have the event called uh, Back on the Beat. And it'll spawn right here in Morgantown. And uh, there'll be, you have to follow the robot around. And uh, the third, I think it's at the bank, the third one where he tries to unlock the door, the little robot. Inside is the bank, and there'll be about four or five safes inside, and there'll be all kinds, all kinds of pre-war money in there as well. Uh, but here in Wavy Builders Water Park, which there's a little room here, which we're going to go hopefully it'll have some pre-war money in it. Let's check it out here. And of course, there's all kinds of cash registers here as well. We're going to take care of some scorched. And I think we have... Um, Kill a Scorch 10, so we might as well uh, finish this off here. So we got a Scorch here. Here we go. So if you do check out some videos of mine, um, basically farming for Holiday Scorched or Spooky Scorched videos, all kinds of them. And even though it's not that time of year, I still bring you to the vast majority of popular Scorch places around the map. Just in case you get the brain fart or you're brand new to the game like you never played it before. Even though we're not looking for holiday or spooky Scorch, you can still watch those videos because it's all time stamped. And it'll give you some good ideas of where to find some Scorched. Okay. And this is one of the spots here, Wavy Wilderness Water Park. Let's grab some ammo here. Okay, so we're here for the pre-war money as well. Where I'm going to go, we're going to head this way. In this little room. And this door is already open for some reason. Uh, these cash registers will have pre-war money in it most times. There'll be usually a couple pre-war money right here on this table. And when you open up a safe, when you open up a safe anywhere on the map, it doesn't matter what level, it'll have pre-war money in it as well let's go ahead we're going to open up this bad boy he is uh my master infiltrator doesn't uh, help me out with this one so we're actually going to have to pick lock him which i'm not good at <laughs> if you guys have watching my fallout 4 series it's a struggle there we go so there's our pre-war money so again every safe in the map will have pre-war money in it okay so now we need to uh scrap it and uh, there should be a Tinker's Workbench over here. Let's go this way, Jim. And there may or may not be a Scorched over here. Yeah, there is. Not that door, Jim. This door. This door, old oh, buddy. Alright, there's a little workbench here. Let's go ahead and scrap. We'll scrap that pre-war money we got there. There we go. Scrap pre-war money five for five done. And again, if you're having a real tough time trying to find pre-war money because everyone and their dog has the same challenges as us, okay? Uh, just go ahead and watch that video. We were very successful in it. And um, that'll help you out. 
All right, uh, so we'll complete this one here that uh, we might as well just stay here at Wavy Wilder's Water Park. Kill a Scorch, so one thing good about this, it's nice, wide, and open. Uh, so basically we can kill a Scorch any of which way, we're not crippling it. Use any weapon we want. We should have no problem finding uh, 10 Scorched here. As you can see, all kinds of cash registers around this place. Again, trying to find money in cash registers is really hit and miss. It depends on the server. Okay, some servers are better than others. It all matters if it wants to spawn in or not. Okay. That's where the bottleneck is. Huh? <laughs> the server that you're on. And how many people are on that server that are, have already taken it. Let's check these cash to See, as you can see, there's nothing in these guys. Even though there's a potential for it to be there. And uh, that video I made four or five months ago show that, you know, we can get uh, pre-war money in those guys. But again, it just depends on the server that you're on. Let's keep going. I can certainly understand the frustration. There's been a huge influx of new people to the game. And uh, a lot of these people have never played Fallout 76 before and don't understand uh, why they have the server hop. <laughs> and uh how the game kind of works kind of deal so i try to explain to them and uh the best i can there we go kill the scorch 10 for 10 done just like that guys and we can go ahead we can clear out the area there's all kinds of other scorch to be had here probably one of the best spots for scorched besides other things I don't think I've ever noticed this here before like this. This is uh, so odd. Well, I don't know why it looks like that. All right, what's next here, Jim? Kill a mutant hound, three. So again, we can find mutant hounds. Mutant hounds are also can be considered canines here in the game, FYI. Uh, we can find some mutant hounds, Grafton. Not very many. They're hit and miss. They're hit and miss. Sometimes I've gone there and found uh, three mutant hounds. And then other times I've gone there, no mutant hounds spawned. Just super mutants and uh, floaters. So kind of hit and miss. Um, you can it's guarantee to find one mutant ha hound down here in Grafton Dam. Okay, at least one. Uh, Grafton Steel is another great spot for mutant hounds. You can find at least six here, guaranteed. Okay. Unless you go there and somebody already killed them and the bodies despawn, which means you have the server hop, but still six are guaranteed there. A uh, little higher level area down here in Huntersville. You can find at least three or four mutant hounds down here. FYI. All right, uh, where we're going to go here today for the three of them. We're just going to go right up here to good old craft and steel. Let's go ahead. All right, so we are going to have to take care of a couple of super mutants at the same time, but that's fine. We have a mutant hound right here by his... Uh... Let's keep going. There'll be another copper deposit there. Another mutant hound down here. Alright. And then we're gonna just keep going around here. We're gonna stay down here just so they don't uh, see us. But there'll be at least uh, a couple more. Usually they're all inside that building, but I find lately they've been kind of outside the building lately. Right, let's go over here because there will be one over this way. Oh, he's over there. See him? There's another guy up there. See him? Oh. He ducked for cover. There we go. Kill a mutant hound. Freeze for three. Done. Nope. You do not got me, butts. <laughs> That's a quick escape there. That's a, 
That's a Jim Bond move right there. Jim Bond move. You know what I mean? James Bond? <laughs> See ya! Peace out! Alright, what's next here? I think we're done. Yeah, we are. Look at that guy's done just like that again. This one here was a little bit harder to do. Uh, as again, it took me like 10 servers to get to a server where people were participating in Invaders from Beyond. Quite a struggle. But uh, we were able to pull it off, so that was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right. Um, now, for those of you who maybe are struggling to find a server, such as I did, you can find um, some alien invaders uh, during random encounters, okay? Um, it's a random encounter that will happen pretty close to this area right here. Uh, just down the road from Lady Janet's uh, soft surf, okay? A random encounter can happen there. Um, another random encounter can happen here at Anchorage Farm, just across the street, right here, roughly. Uh, but one of the best spots for uh, random encounters is right down here in Charleston. Right here, there'll be like a red uh, decapitated barn. Uh, but if you spot here at Charleston Station, you walk across the first bridge, or run across, and you stop. Wait a second, and then you kind of walk back across, back across towards the station slowly, and there'll be a random encounter that will happen, but... It could be, when I'm saying by a random encounter, it could be enemies fighting enemies. It can be alien invaders during the Invaders from Beyond event. Okay, we have seen that before. I have a couple of videos showing that. It could be like a vendor. It could be super mutants or it could be like a robot walking a bunch of dogs or rats or something like that. But uh, just an FYI, if you are having trouble, you can try to do the uh, random encounter approach if you so wish. But there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you get the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffen, Heather, White Tribe Starwin138, Robco. Thank you all so very much. And I hope you all have a nice day. And <laughs> while I'm remembering, I am back to my 12-hour day shift tomorrow and Tuesday. So I will be putting out my daily challenge videos Monday and Tuesday. However, they'll just be a little bit later than usual, but you can count on me putting them out. Alright, thank you for your patience and hope you all have a nice day.